back to another episode of City Skylines. Yeah, I've been gone for a while. <laughs> um, really sorry about that. I just, you know, got been caught up with so many different things. I got a job now as well. Um, but summer is here, and I'm going to want to upload a lot more. Um, I definitely have a lot of things in the works. Um, that I'm, you know, gonna be working on when I am free and not in school. Or, sorry, not in school, not in work. Um, but I would definitely have a lot more time to actually work on this kind of stuff. But in the meantime, uh, while I'm working on the uh, one of my really big episodes for Arcoma, um, I thought I'd hit you guys with this quick little short build. Um, little little backstory behind it. I saw this like five. I don't know, you saw it at the beginning of it like this five-way interchange and i'm like this does not look right and i have so much i have so much space around it that i could just build something new um i just thought about you know a regular roundabout but instead i decided to do an oval about um definitely something different uh, i've never built an oval about but i actually really like these i see them a lot on like european interchanges where they have one on each side um, like for the exit ramps, you go off and they have to go into like one of these ovals. Um, it helps, uh, with, uh, traffic flow, I assume. So what I, I, what I said to, to do here is just change all of like the five way one point into a oval and it's i mean the ending of it i think looked really good um i haven't really been in the arcoma save to see the traffic flow and since there's really not much going on here like um there isn't very much what should i say like activity um there's not a whole lot of residential buildings or um commercial area around these parts so you're not really gonna get much you're probably just gonna get like through tra through traffic or anything along those lines but later on down the line when i do build in this area um there will be a lot more traffic that comes through here but as of now we're i'm doing a little bit of a doing some editing to the nodes and putting in some um temporary um markings for those uh, intersections <laughs> moving a couple things around making sure it's all nice and pretty <laughs> um but i want to as we're you know just building along here um it do want to kind of again say my apologies for not uploading in such a long time i did i know i did one um the um augustus plaza um that was quite the fun one to do uh, that's been sitting in my hard drive for a couple months and um i wanted to get some video out because a lot of my friends have been begging me to get some kind of episode because they're like, where's the city skyline? Where's the city skyline? And I'm like, man, I'm working on it. And then I don't show one up for um, days or weeks on end. But I'm going to try and get more out. I'm going to try and get more out. So I got that one out. But this one is like a little filler for um, what's next to come. I have a lot more explanations into the... Um, um, and then in like my next episode that I'm working on, um, I give you a small little hint. It's a giant, um, market area. Like if you know, Dublin, Ohio, it's something that looks like that. It's loosely inspired off of that. Um, but I guess one thing that I can bring up that I'll probably touch on more in the next episode is that I, something that I've realized with the uh, city of Arcoma and just the series itself is that it didn't really have a whole lot of history to it. Like, you know how most cities have history. This one did not. 
I can't, I like, I've tried my best to put some kind of lore behind it, but it just didn't, like, nothing could really flow properly. Um, the, like, the whole city is enclosed on an island with one single interchange to it and with a couple country roads going into it, but then it all is interlooped or in enclosed by a six lane road, um, six lane outer belt highway thing that it just doesn't seem like a city that would be um historically ran you know what i mean so one thing that i'm going to try and do more in this um in this series is not to make it more historical but to have to have more fun with it like make little um like focus an entire episode on one build like how I did the Augustus Plaza. Like I focused just on that one. And now I'm focusing on a five-way stop that I saw that I felt like could need a lot more touching up. Um, here I'm just detail detailing some of the segments. So um, I thought that, I thought, you know, this, sorry to go off track, to go off track again, but I love what the creator for the Intersection Marketing Tool did. And now you can like edit segments and makes things so much more prettier. Honestly, I'm in love with the whole segment editing. Um, oh, and right here, I try out something a little bit different. It's not, it's not functional, um, but I do make a bike lane. Uh, you can see me add the fill in here. It, it's just a simple little green filling alongside, um, because I know this this road did have a bike lane, so I was like, you know what, why don't we make our own? Um, it's not it's not usable. Um, I might make it usable. I don't know, but I just thought that was something pretty pretty fun to to add, make it um, I'll let, yeah, make it a lot more fun to use. But anyway, with the city of Arcoma, uh, I just think it's going to be a lot better to just have more fun with it instead of making it some like like force history into it because i already started because usually well look usually most um most cities start with like an old town and then expand off of that this i went straight into the downtown and then later on when i get to it i'll be working on old town I just don't, I don't see how that really flows properly. Um, so I'm just going to have some fun with this. Uh, I'm going to build whatever I feel I would like or what would go well in the city. Um, so that'll be like, oh, like, a, for instance, maybe a mall or I had all these plans for the beachfront or a sports complex. That'll all be just what I can show off, like my building skills and how I detail and edit things. Those will be like really highly detailed. But yeah, I guess uh, I'll explain a little bit more in the next episode to it um, in the next episode of Arcoma. But here we are detailing with a lot of the um, a lot of the road signs. Um, like, like I said, to give more of a feel on how I like to design and um, plop different <laughs> props down. I just completely forgot my the word I was trying to think of, but um, just, just stuff like this I just find super, super fun. Just plopping down the signs, making them look at least somewhat realistic or making my own custom ones um making custom signs is so hard like i haven't even finished all the ones for arcoma i only have like th four or five and that's for one um interchange alone but yeah that's uh that's pretty it was it's it's pretty fun <laughs> Uh, one thing I want to also mention in this video, since it's just going to be like a short, sweet build, I don't really have any um, time lapses for it. Or not. Oh God, why do I keep. 
I need to slow my roll when I'm speaking. I don't have any um, cinematics for this, but I do give a little bit. I think near in the end, I give a small overview. Um, I might have to go back and just re-record a small live play, just because. But yeah, here I try to look for some of the signs. I and I thought this one could work. Um, I forget what I do to it. I forget how I do it. I don't know if I keep it or I can actually just completely get rid of it. But yeah, making the whole procedural object sign customization, I learned so much more about it just messing around in another world or another uh, game I was doing. You can actually like change the fonts. I know this. It sounds dumb that I didn't know this, but you could change the fonts into road signs like you press a key, you could change the font into road signs and press a key and it'll go to that key or go to that road sign i found i was just so blown away that the that that's how that worked i i, I didn't know that <laughs> um but i i um, add this onto there i believe where is it what are you doing yeah, I just completely get rid of it. <laughs> and then I try a little bit extras, uh, a little a little bit more, um, another way around it. Because I, I, I don't know what happened to it, but I, or um, why I decided to get rid of it. But here we are going back to the, um, to the bike lane. Um, I know that lane already has the um, bike lane in it, but I wanted to make it brighter. Um, but it was just for this road alone, because I felt it, it just didn't look right to go from like bright to dark to darker um, across the street. So I just lightened it all up and then went to dark on the other side of the street. Um, and I was just trying to find a way to implement it into the... Um, into the oval about I had to meet my mic there for a second my bad and I mean it went it looks it the ending bit definitely looked all really really well um <laughs> not sure where else to where else to go because the um, the next episode for Arcoma, not sure when it's going to be out, but I know I have I would go and have like an entire script for this. This I'm just winging off the top of my head, like what I would usually do. Um, for the update video, I actually had a script, um, but for short little episodes like these, I didn't feel like I needed to make a script. I just kind of wanted to get a video out and see what would happen. Um, Have a little bit of a have a little bit of a fun build, like I've said before. You know, this, this stuff like this is tedious, and not a whole, not a whole. I mean, it's, sorry, it's a whole lot of fun, just not a whole lot of. Uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to use, but
So I did finish up that bike lane off camera. Um, well, bike lane in quotes. And so we're getting into the final minute or so left. Um, and I'm just doing some detailing, adding some trees. Because it always, always splices things up a little bit. Um, really gives it that extra, extra bit of flavor to it. Really fancy stuff. Adding some uh, bushes. Go to put extra green into it. I mean, just uh, just from looking at all that alone, I think I did an amazing job. Um, it's a lot of fun just to kind of see this and say, "Hey, look what look what I can do with this." Um, but I had a lot of fun building this uh, this particular um, intersection. I guess if you want to call it that, maybe I should do it again sometime. But. Um, yeah, we're getting in the last 20 seconds, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you like, did not like about this build. And tell me what I should do for the next episode. But I'll see you guys around.